So I have this uh, launcher opened over here and it is desired to select the double precision always and if uh, your particular desktop or laptop or workstation is having multiple solvers then you can just enhance the list over here that is by increment of these numbers or else you can just go with one depending on the case. Now since we are dealing with a coarser mesh and very simple cases so I believe one processor is enough for my system to be loaded with. Now I will just click on start over here and uh, wait for the setup to open. Here it is. And uh, you can see that uh, the Fluent always gives this default window. If you do not want to read this message, you can just click over here and press so that the next time you will not be uh, reported with that message. Probably that is reflecting the changes with respect to the previous version. And uh, that is not of significant importance, especially with respect to simulation point of view. Now as the flow uh, velocity, what we are deciding for this case will be approximately 1 meters per second all right so i will be going with pressure based numerical solver and uh, it is not required for us to go with density based right and i'll quickly go to the models over here in the viscous model i will be selecting k epsilon with standard and standard wall functions and i'll just press ok over here and uh, after that i'll just minimize this models and go to the materials available over here now in the materials i will be selecting air at first and uh, here we will be deciding the material so uh, we will not be going with air material and uh, we will be going to the fluent database and right now i will be simulating a gas over here so i will be considering propane gas all right now propane is a kind of gas which is having multiple applications I have opened in this window over here you can see that uh, there are several uses of propane gas in the industrial sector as one of the most versatile energy sources right so this gas is basically used to generate energy I mean it is a kind of energy source and uh, you can just google and just try to catch up and understand what are the different applications of propane gas right so we are not bothered about the application because our uh, simulation is very simple but imagine you know you're transporting a propane gas in a pipe all right and this is the pipe uh, shape okay the propane gas is passing from left to the right and we are just investigating the uh, flow field of propane gas clear now I need to search the propane so it will be alphabetically listed I am in P right now so you can see propane over here C3 H8 and the density is 1.9 kg per meter cube if you remember the density of air is 1.225 so it is a little bit uh, denser than the air okay little bit kind of 0.75 kg per meter cube increment now uh, to add this material in this material list we simply have to click on copy and you can see the propane is being added in the background now the next task is to simply close this and you can just close this as well the propane is being added over here now I, I if you remember in the previous project we have entered into cell zones and selected the respected zone and edited it or double clicked on this one this is because we have to assign the material as propane only the addition of propane in the fluid in the material list doesn't mean that from the inlet the propane is supplied all right so we have to select it from here and click apply and close over here you want you can just double click and verify this whether the propane is selected or no if you want you can just reapply and close now we are entering into the boundary conditions we have inlet x we have inlet y then we have the interior that means the interior region of this particular domain we have the outlet and the wall now coming to the inlet i will be uh, assigning a velocity of inlet that is 1 meters per second and just click apply and close so on a similar note I will be applying the velocity for y direction as 1 meters per second so we have propane gas entering from two regions and exiting at one uh, entry okay I'll just click apply 
and close so we have the outlet that is the pressure outlet by default and uh, the operating condition is 101325 clear press ok and uh, you can now move to the reference values and from the compute you just have to select the inlet x as of now okay and you can see the density being listed over here go to references and just select the preferred zone what we have in the method i will be using the simple method and uh, we can just go with high order term relaxation and if you wish you can select second order upwind schemes now i'll just go to initialize directly and click on standard and compute from inlet x and click on initialize now i'll just go to run calculation and uh, enter 500 iterations and also if you want you can just increase the uh, convergence criteria to something 1e minus 4 or lesser than that since we are just performing a conceptual study so we can just keep the default values or a little bit decrement in that after that i'll just click on calculate and wait for the iterations to start and uh, uh, when the iterations are starting i'll just pause the video and close this video so that we can just discuss in the next video as to what has happened for the uh, flow simulation and uh, we will also see the velocity contour in a cut section plane in the fluent module itself and we will see how the first uh, the, uh, the propane gas from first inlet is interacting with the second and they are just exiting from the outlet when this is completed the next job will be to perform the dpm analysis that is discrete phase modeling uh, and that is very simple i mean it looks complicated but when we are working on it i believe we can understand easily so i'll just wait for it yeah there it is the simulation has started and let me just pause the video now and uh, let us just meet up in the next video